bruh. They really about to fight over this PS5. It's about to go down. Everybody, let me pause the video so we can talk about it. They right about to throw heads. How are y'all doing? What's up to everybody coming in? We're not coming in because we're not live recording, watching this video. Bro, two women got into a hair pulling, dragging on the floor, fist fight over a PlayStation 5 at Walmart to set it up. Apparently, this was the last PlayStation 5 in the store and they were arguing over who gets the console. This lady right here in red, she kept saying, what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do about it? The other lady was trying to ignore her, ignore her, ignore her. Then she just snapped, she turned around. Hey, let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. Let's just watch it. That's it. It's Saturday. Nothing else to do. And so, and this, before, while this is played, y'all going to see it all go down. Bro, it just lets you know how desperate people are to get this system. It's been sold out everywhere. Walmart, Best Buy, um, Target. Uh, even the PlayStation official store, no one can get a PlayStation 5 and the bot situation is not helping. Um, bots have been taking advantage. Scalpers have been making multi-millions over the whole online COVID situation. And so it's boiled down to people literally risking going to jail on camera to get a PlayStation 5. And so this is the news today on Saturday. This is the biggest PlayStation news. We got some other news we're gonna be talking about, but I guess this lady tried to interview and then nope, that's it. <laughs> she was like, nope, <laughs> you want it, let's go. And so two women get caught fighting over a PlayStation 5 in Walmart. Now, when um, Sony started selling the console, I know y'all probably didn't pay attention to y'all watching this fight, but when Sony started selling the console, they weren't available online and they weren't even available in, I mean, they were only available online. They were not available in store. They weren't available in store. And so now they're available where you can actually go in store. I've been seeing people telling me, oh my Walmart has 20 PlayStation 5s. But as soon as they go up, they're gone immediately. And so it got heated, it got intense, and they started fighting over a PlayStation 5. And so it went down in a Walmart and they are reporting that um, cops were called on the scene, but both ladies were long gone before the police arrived. But that lets you know how crazy it is. See, at first you think that the black lady, she ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> she just turned around and snapped. All right, next news item. Bro, the CD Project Red news is getting even worse. Check this out. This is coming from VideoGamesChronicles.com. Oh, we got some PlayStation stock news coming up soon. PlayStation 5s are about to go live. Stay tuned. But before that, CD Projekt Red, their boss likes tweets criticizing Sony for removing Cyberpunk 2077. So he got caught on Twitter liking tweets um, that were against Sony removing the game, which... I 100% agree with Sony 
for removing the game. The game ran like garbage, um, huge bugs, and the biggest thing, the biggest thing was the deception. Showing one product and gamers getting a completely different product. Also with the reviews, no one, no one was able to see what the console versions of the games looked like until after the game released. And so these are some of the tweets he got caught liking, which we're going to talk about, which is crazy because one of the tweets. All right. This is one of the tweets he liked. This is interesting. Someone said on Twitter, play event, play Avengers came out in a worse state than cyberpunk game. And you guys did nothing. Avengers is effectively dead on all platforms, making online play non-existence on top of bad code. Where are all the, those people's refunds? They're next, right? And he liked that tweet. A couple problems with this. Bro, Avengers gave us not just footage of the PlayStation, the console versions. They gave us a demo. We could actually play the game. They gave us a demo, multiple opportunities to see the game and actually play the game before it came out. The biggest problem with this whole cyberpunk thing is the deception to gamers. No console footage, no, um, no ability to, to test the game out, no demos, nothing was released before this game came out. So stop it, Cyberpunk CEO. Stop liking tweets, trying to compare this game to Marvel Avengers. Completely different situation. Of course, Marvel Avengers was an average mediocre game, but it ran pretty good. Even the online in Marvel Avengers ran good. So you can't really compare this to the Avengers situation because we got a demo for Marvel Avengers. We saw PlayStation 4 gameplay before the game launched. We got to play the game. So stop it, stop it, stop it. But it's interesting that he got caught liking tweets um, that came out against Sony. <laughs> interesting. All right, next news item. Bro, PlayStation 5s are about to go live in a matter of hours. That's right. At 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on December 20th, that's tomorrow. So this, this coming morning at 3 a.m. on Target, you can possibly order online and go pick up your console in stores. Um, from Target for a PlayStation 5. This is coming from SpielTimes.com, but I did see multiple sites reporting on this tomorrow, December 20th. Check your local targets. I would actually call your store to just make sure this 3 a.m. time is correct. 3 a.m. East on the East Coast, and so probably midnight on the um, West Coast. I thought I saw a different time too. That's why I'm saying check the times. But I know definitely tomorrow, um, PS5 consoles will be available to buy uh, at Target and pick up in store. So if you're still trying to get a PlayStation 5, go and get it, bro. And I, the reason why I kept Cyberpunk, um, the video for Cyberpunk up is we do have one more Cyberpunk tidbit before we shut down this video, bro. It looks like game develop. There's some internal rebellion going on at CD Projekt Red as we speak. Uh, this comes from Bloomberg, Bloomberg.com. Rebellion is in the air at Polish video game publisher CD Projekt Red after the company's high anticipated um, game um, had bad reviews and glitches. All right, let's check this out. Frustrated and angry staff fired questions at the board during an internal video meeting Thursday um, it opened with management apologizing uh, for the launch, but um, um, two, according to two people who were present, 
it was a fitting atmosphere from company whose slogan plastered and posted all around this waffle office is we are rebels and so um developers were upset with higher ups and they were going at it in an internal um company video about what went wrong with the release of the game and um, um some were saying it's because they were pressured they were pressured to release the game meet this deadline even though the game wasn't polished and finished um developers were put under pressure to meet this deadline and so i wouldn't really blame the developers too much because it isn't just the developers saying oh we're done we don't feel like making any more of the game or working on the game anymore they have ceos bosses that tell them hey the game has to come out finished or not by this deadline and so tough situation all around it just keeps getting worse and worse for this game all right dudes what do you guys think about all the news we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go where's my bro bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things gaming we out. Peace. Outro. That's my kids knocking. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.